The following video is me troubleshooting a uh, ground loop or alternator wind issue that I got when I installed a DSP, a digital signal processor, to my factory head unit. Um, I had disconnected my under the seat subwoofer so I knew it wasn't coming from there, but um, I tried various things to try to get rid of this, uh, this noise, which was basically a whine that would increase with the RPMs of the car. So you can go ahead and watch the video to, to sort of see what I went through in case you're going through it as well. Maybe, you know, I, I tested something that you haven't yet. Maybe you'll have a different result. Um, I will also show you where the factory amplifier is underneath of the driver's side seat and how to basically get that out. Um, if you want to just skip to the end, see how I fixed the problem in my car, you can go ahead and look in the video description below and I'll put a timestamp as to where you can jump to uh, just to see the overall solution. Because right now, I don't have any more alternator wine. I have my seat slid all the way up and I've removed the trim right here so I have better access just underneath here if I need to. Uh, if you look underneath, you'll see this. This is the factory amp that powers the 6x9s which are right here on the doors. So I've used uh, my panel popper tool to basically get underneath of these clips and lift them up. Once you pop these two clips up, you can pull them out. And then this cover will come off and you can see the amp as well as the harnesses going into them. So the reason why I've removed this trim here is so I have an easier time getting underneath to unplug the harness um, while I try to figure out how to get rid of this ground loop issue. Okay. Before I actually unplug the harness here, I want to see if I can separate the um, factory amp from the chassis because right now the chassis is grounded and I don't know if that actually plays a part with how the amp is actually grounded if it's connected to the ground wire on the amp and that's what's causing the ground loop because the amp is grounded here and of course the head unit is grounded behind the dash and then the DSP that's run underneath of here has a long ISO cable that goes up here and is grounded here and then it's also going down to factory amp and it's grounded there. So I'm trying to get rid of all these extra grounds or at least centralize them. So the next thing we're going to do is unbolt this amp from the chassis. Now I've pushed the seat all the way back and if you look underneath here you can see I've already popped up this one clip here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and then flip back the carpeting and now see that there are two, I believe these are 12 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those two and that should separate the factory amp from the chassis ground. I've removed the two 12 millimeter bolts and slid the factory amp back so that it's no longer touching any metal on the car. And I did check with my multimeter um, on the body here on the chassis and this is still grounded so yes the grounding on the outside is connected to the wiring harness so this is going to reduce having an extra grounding point by doing this so now I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car see if the stereo works fine and see if the uh, the alternator wind goes away and if it does then great so I've, I've resolved the issue that I'm having here and the ground is now going through the wiring harness only and I've reduced it to just one grounding point instead of multiple Unfortunately, the test where this was still plugged in, but the chassis was separated from the car, still had alternator wine. So now I just want to make sure that this is actually the cause of that noise, so I've disconnected it completely. Now if you want to see what it looks like in terms of the plugs, here's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and cross my fingers and see if uh, the alternator wine is gone. If it's gone, then I know this is where the problem is and I probably should have to figure out a better way to centralize the grounding for the head unit and the DSP and this. So I've tried everything to track down this alternator wine slash ground loop issue. Uh, taking out the factory amp from the mix, only connected the power and front speakers and rear speakers to the head unit. Uh, Regrounded the head unit just at the chassis by pull pulling the ground pin out from here. Um, tried redirecting the ground for the DSP straight to the head unit only and then straight to the factory. Tried regrounding the, the DSP to the chassis instead. Nothing works. So what I think is happening is maybe just sound uh, noise is coming in through the power line from the alternator. So this, this is the ISO harness. This goes. These two plugs go to the factory harness. So front speakers and power and rear speaker, which you can see back here. And then this is the one that goes to the head unit. So I've taken the power wire 
which if you look, um, basically if you look on the back of the harness this way, the top uh, right wire will be the power, and I've wrapped it with a ferret core magnet, and then I went ahead and just did the, uh, the ignition wire as well here. Here's how I've rewrapped my ISO harness so that the uh, the two power wires are on the outside of the wrap here. Uh, this way, when I plug everything back in, it'll still have enough slack that I can get the head unit in and out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in place here and see if the alternator wine is gone. So now I know that the noise is probably coming in from the power, considering that adding ferret core magnets did reduce it a little bit, but didn't make it go away. So now what I've done is I've cut the power line in half and I'm putting, uh, basically an inline noise filter in. So I have a 30 amp one here. The reason why I went with 30 amps is because it was either 10 or 30. And the fuse that goes to the DSP is already a 15 amp fuse. So I didn't want to get anything less than 15. So 30 amps it is. So I've basically wired it in. The, on this particular one from Install Bay, the red wire goes to the factory radio harness and the yellow wire is the output that continues to the back of the head unit. Uh, and then you just have to ground this. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the stereo and make sure that this works. All right, got the stereo hooked back up. I'm just using this uh, point here to ground the uh, noise isolator. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little gas. I can hear a little bit of, of alternator whine right now, but let's see if it's any worse. So I can definitely hear it. Uh, it's better than just using the magnets alone. Uh, so I'm gonna see what happens if I add the magnets to here. Uh, so now I'm going to be using noise isolator and ferret core magnets and hopefully that will actually get the alternator wind down to a point where I can live with it or even eliminate it. All right, so everything is hooked up again. I've added a ferret core magnet to the output here. Uh, I've added another one just before the, the harness goes into the back of the head unit, but I also put it around not just the power wire to the battery, but the ignition wire as well. So now let's see. I, I, don't really hear anything right now with the car running. I don't hear any whine. Let's give it a little gas and see if the problem is actually resolved. It's super faint. It is barely noticeable. Uh, now, I am the type of person that can hear a CRT monitor though, so uh, I mean, it, you might not even hear it, but I, I hear it a little bit, but I can deal with it because as soon as the car's actually moving, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hear it at all. Uh, whereas before, I could hear the alternator whine when I was cruising down the road. So uh, as long as you're sure that you've got the ground loop issue resolved, which I have because I've regrounded my DSP to the chassis, uh, and this is this is still grounded through the uh, factory um, stereo harness, but it's also grounded through the bolt here, um, just in general. But as long as you make sure that you're not experiencing any ground issues and you're still getting noise, start looking at the power line to see if noise is coming in that way, because it's definitely, uh, that was definitely the case here. All right, I hope this helps you out if you're trying to combat some alternator wine uh, bleeding into your stereo speakers. Thanks for watching.